Hey guys, welcome back to Zemo's channel. Today I am gonna be building the XG Build Divers, the Build Gamma Gundam. Actually, I kind of left it in my backlog for like one month. I, you know, it it arrived at my home around like a month ago and I just left it at the backlog and completely forgot about it. Oh, by the way, the Rick Diaz Revive version is Premium Bandai and is coming out this month. So make sure you pick it up and then, you know, have fun with it. You know, it's a new gamble anyway. For those set of vans that have been dying for a new Rick Deers, it's coming. Personally, I will be purchasing the Rick Deers as well, but honestly, there's not much ways for me to find it, and I will try my best to pick it up and then, you know, review it. Today, we got the variation, well, actually, customization of the Rick Deers. So here we are, the Build Gamma Gundam. So now, looking at the box right here, it's just a really boring box, just like all the premium Bandai, they don't provide you anything. The box art, you know, is a really simple pose where the Bill Gamma Gundam is using the beam gunning bazooka shooting at something, and that's it. So, let's just skip the box part and just open up the runners and take a look at it. Now, here's the instruction menu. Just like the normal build divers, we got like the box art right here and the, the details about the Gampla, the builder, and the team that he is in. So if you want to look at the details, you can just pause it here and then take a brief look about it. And we also got the details right here. Now flip it to the back, we have the material gamba, Rick Deers. And then we got the customization plan, and then the weapon introduction, and then we got the color guide down here. So open it up. First, you know, you can see some assemble process. And uh, let's take a look. Oh, actually, there's an Easter egg. You see it right here? The scope of the Beam Gatling Bazooka is actually Rick Deer's head. Um, The Bazooka? Clay Bazooka being left out. I assume the Clay Bazooka, you can still take it out and use it. Maybe? I think so. And other parts right here don't seem like there's a lot of parts being wasted except for the A-Runner. And uh, let's take a look inside. That's it. Mm, okay, let's take a look at the runners. So first, we got the A runner right here. This is from the original Rick Deers. You can see that the clay bazooka that we just mentioned is being left out. The rest of the part, I assume this is the back skirt. This is probably part of the torso. This will be the gun, the, the handgun, beam handgun. We got the beam saber effect parts, the mono eye. We got the torso parts. We also got some hands option down here and rest of the part right here. Forgive me, I don't own a XGUZ Rick Deers, so it's very hard for me to know. We got two B runners right here. So I will just take B1 as the example. You can see it right here at the corner right here. It says uh, Build Gamma Gundam and Rick Deers. So this is the sort of like the revised, revised part of the uh, Rick Deers and some parts for the Build Gamma Gundam. So take a look at this. So this is the shield, obviously. This will be the legs part, legs part, legs part. And then we got some shoulders and um, up here, I'm not sure about this. This is the skirt armor, I assume. And the rest of it, you know, it's very hard for me to guess. We got a C runner right here. It's from the original Rick Deers. And you can see that the legs part, we have some skirt armor, some torso, and then the rest of it um, is very hard for me to guess. We got the eye runner right here, the antenna of the built Gamma Gundam. Now, this is the special part. We got three D runners right here, but actually the D3 runners got like a little bit more things. So first, for the D3 runners right here, you can see the new head and everything else I think is pretty much the same. You know, you got the... You got, oh wait, this is the beam gathering bazooka part right here. So this will be the D3 part. For the D2 and D1, let's take a look. I think they are pretty much the same. So let's take D1. So D1 right here, we got for the, I think it's the outside armor of the built Gamma Gundam and then a little bit of inner frame as well. And this is the shield. This is the feet, this is the legs part, and this is, uh, oh my god. It's actually very hard for me to guess. Next up, we got the party caps. Wow, I haven't seen this kind of party caps for a long time. Lastly, we got the stickers right here. So these ones right here, I think is used on the shield, if I remember correctly. And this is the Bill Gamer's eyes, and this is the Rick Deer's mono eye. Anyway, we look through everything. Let's go to the review. Hey guys, welcome back to the review of the Built Gamma Gundam. So this is the finishing of it. First, you will notice that, wait, why don't the design change a lot of things except the colors, maybe the head? Well, actually, the Built Gamma Gundam, it 
actually kept a lot of elements from the original rig deers which was why the only part that is different i think is the head and the backpack boosters and the rest of them i think they were pretty much the same parts but just upgraded to the modern version so i gotta say that you can consider this as like a revived version rig deers test bed and actually the rig deers is coming out this month as well so um i think you should pick this up because when you build this build Gamma Gundam right here, you can really feel that Bandai actually changed the old mode completely. And it's not as bad as the old one. Even though this is a premium Bandai, actually, there's not much level for parts except for this red part right here, which is the original Rick Diaz head from my memory. And this clay bazooka right here. But I don't think the clay bazooka is that bad because you can use it and pose with it as well. So technically... There's, if you really want to be critical, the only level of parts is this red Rick Deer's original part right here. As usual, we will always start with the head. So this head right here, changing from the original Rick Deer's head design, the Mono Eye version, to the Gundam type design right here. But I do want to say one thing right here. It's really hard to see the eyes because this antenna, oh, sorry, not the antenna, this white piece right here block the eyes. And it's very hard for you to see the eyes unless, you know, you're looking from below. See, these are the eyes right here. It's really hard for you to see it. And for the articulation though, unfortunately, we can only move like a little bit because um, the joint inside the head is actually really old and it's not a ball joint. So it doesn't provide you like a lift up, lift down function. All you can do is just move a little bit to the side like this, a little bit aside like this, and that's it. Now, take a look at the torso right here. The torso, I think, is exactly the same, just like the Rick Deers. It's just the part is being redesigned. And also, uh, maybe the color is different. And that's it for the torso. Honestly, there's not much things for me to talk about at the torso right here. Well, if you want to look at the movements, um, this is a big ball joint at the center right here. So you can move back, front, and... Um, Oh, actually, you can rotate. Oh, no, 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 no. You can only rotate 90 degrees. Let's take a look at the arms right here. So first, the arms, you can move 360, lift up, and then the shoulder armor can lift up more. So um, technically, you can lift up slightly over 90 degrees, and then, you know, move down again. And this piece right here at the side of the shoulders, you can move it as well. The whole arm can move to the front, and then move back. The bending is pretty nice though, almost touching the shoulders. Whole arm can rotate. We don't have any option hands, but we have a one finger movable hand for you. So you can easily transform this hand right here to a trigger hand. Let's check out the skirt armor. So front skirt, individual movement, really nice. Side skirt, you can lift up a little bit, lift down a little bit, and that's it. The back skirt, as usual, is not movable. It's time for us to check out the legs articulation. So first, kicking to the front, 90 degrees, great. Kicking to the back, mm, back skirt, not movable, so not existed. Kicking to the side, near 90 degrees, um, I will just take it. And then for the bending though, um, it's more than the original Rick Deers, although the armor actually interrupts the movement, but it's still better than the original Rick Deers. For the feet down here, it's a big ball joint, so you can adjust it very free. Let's take a look at the backpack right here. I think this backpack, though, I really like this booster right here. So this is a booster cannon from the instruction menu. This is called the booster cannon. This booster cannon right here actually looks really good. I really like this design right here. So as you show this yellow part right here, unfortunately it's gonna be stickers, but you know my rules, as long as the sticker stays on it and then don't fell off or you know suddenly got a corner flipping up, it's fine for me. And then when we turn to the center right here, you can see there's two pistol handgun. Uh, I've, I don't know what's that called. And then we also got one beam saber down here as well. But, um, for the handgun right here, I do want to say something about it, but I will save that part later. So first, let's take a look at the booster cannon right here. So the booster cannon right here, because it's a big ball joint, so you can move, you know, slightly front and back, move, uh, you know, front and back, side to side, just very limiting movement because it's a ball joint. And this is the beam saber right here. We do have the beam saber effect part for you to use it. It's time for me to talk about this beam pistol right here. You know, I can pose with it. 
is cool but the connection and how you store it is the part that i really don't like so first to take it out is already extremely hard okay so now you took it out and this is what it looks like individually and this is the part that i don't like so to put it back is actually pretty difficult as well and once you put it back in it felt really like the feeling is just so weird it's not tight but it's close to loose as well so this part right here Personally, I don't really like it. The last thing that I have to talk about is this beam gotten gun, gotten cannon, whatever that calls, right here. Because the size is actually pretty impressive. It's as tall as the built Gamma Gundam. And then when you take a look at this, um, you know, overall, it's pretty lame. I wish they can add a little bit of color or maybe you can customize that by yourself. Speaking of the articulation, only the sub handle right here is movable. And also you can find an Easter egg right here. The Rick Deer's original head is being used as a sensor unit. And it still contain the same thing, just like the original Rick Deer's where you can pop up the Falcon gun and then, you know, put it back. But I gotta say, this thing looks amazing with a little bit of recolor, maybe this will look even better. But I'm just impressed about the size. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching this review. This will be the end of the video. So I will just give my quick summary like this. So this premium Bandai, I think you sh should be getting this or you can buy this because one, it don't really have a lot of waste apart. And two, um, actually they redesign and then, you know, given the new technologies into this gunplay right here. So only kids make choice. So personally, I will buy the Bill Gamma Gundam and the Rick Deez as well because only kids make choice. I want both. So this will be my suggestion. Thank you guys for watching this video and make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Like this video and comment down below about your thoughts. And I'll see you in the next review. Goodbye.